Good job, Sinef, who's swapping with Black Power, family. What up? It's your brother in Google, now you see r and m And once again, you tuned in to r and m RBG TV. Uh-huh. We keep the G. Growing uncut common sense for the common people. Dealing with the common issues, family, you already know that we are trying to seek those common solutions. Mm-hmm. So all in together now, I say nice, out and proud, family. What's the method, model, mantra, motivation, and the madness? Come on now, family, all in together now. You know this, man. You already know that it's black love. And you should know that black love is the cure for the black nation. So let's get it. What we're going to talk about today, we're going to briefly discover, uh, I mean, not discover, but discuss um, what the topic of self-esteem and projection. Self-esteem and projection. I started to basically, I started briefly to tap on this, uh, this in the last couple episodes I was dealing with. Um, if you haven't seen those, again, RNM RBG TV, check it out. Go look, uh, look for yourself. I've been dealing with the brothers and the sisters alike, and the brothers on their own, the sisters on their own, and you know, dealing basically individually, collectively. You know how we get it in. Um, one of the biggest things you already know why I always say black love is the cure for the black nation, so let's get it. Because at the end of the day, it's just like that mirror reflection, man. When you look in, when you look into that reflection, what do you see? What do you resemble? What do you connect with when you're looking at yourself? Do you embrace yourself? Do you love yourself? Do you even uh, 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 like yourself, nonetheless? And that all has to deal with self-esteem. How do you feel about yourself? The esteem of yourself. How do you feel and resonate with yourself? Because at the end of the day, that right there is going to be the jumpstart foundation, the catalyst, if you will, to how you vibe with everybody else from that point forward throughout the rest of your day. Along with self-esteem, we have to deal with projection, right? Basically, projection is when a person, what I like to call the antagonist, if you will, in a situation, the antagonist is basically antagonizing, going against, opposing whether it be verbally, mentally, physically, emotionally, all these other leads, right? That antagonist is going against other people, right? Basically uh, 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 spewing out their inner hatred, their inner demons, if you will, on other people at a consistent rate because of the, the, the feelings and insecurities that they have within themselves. They can't deal with it. They can't, you know, tolerate it or cope, whatever you want to call it. So with that being said, the best way to deal with the situation is to simply put that onto somebody else consistently, time and time and after again, eventually to the point where the person who's receiving the antagonization starts to believe the shit over and over and over again because they've heard it time and time again. They then begin to take on these different behavioral traits. They then begin to live out the thoughts and the feelings of somebody else. 
something that's foreign to them, something that's not even natural or second nature or first or third nature to them at all because it's not of them. It's somebody else's inner demons being placed on them time and time after again. And then because of the repetition, because of the constant bombardment, you begin to believe it. You begin to walk in that light. Somebody else's light is which pretty much is somebody else's darkness nonetheless, right? That's basically the two, the, the, uh, two sides of the coin. Self-esteem and projection. Two sides of the same coin, if you will, right? Different, you know, uh, uh, polar opposites, but nonetheless of the same person, if you will. Same situation, nonetheless, right? With that being said, I want to take this time, opportunity. you already know every so often, I bring out one of our, our, one of our greatest to speak a word to us, right? Dr. Amy Wilson, you up next. You, you always up, in my book. One of the greatest uh, psychologists we ever had. To ever uh, speak the words of, of truth to the black people, if you will. Hold that thought. Now, again, you already know. Like I said, I always bring out one of the greatest weapons, one of uh, one of the greatest visionaries, uh, uh, authors, psychologists that we've ever had. The brother who brought us this text right here, the text that a lot of people do not even talk about. Before you even get into that, I want to say Happy Flag Day. You already see what it is. You know what I'm saying? Today is um, August 13th, 2016. 96 years to the day that we received this, 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 this legendary universal banner, if you will, brought to us by none other than His Excellency Marcus Masai Garvey, right over there on my shoulder. You see the big homie, you and I ACL. What up, 432? You know how we do. Again, today is the day that our beautiful flag and banner was uh, was brought to us, delivered to us, presented to us by His Excellency, and this was, the be in my personal opinion, the beginnings, the beginnings of the work that we need to finish, you know what I'm saying? We got the visuals, now we just got to put the work in to back up that vision, all right? So with that being said, again, I want to say happy flag day. I should have said that at the beginning, but I got caught up, but it's all good. Never too late to say anything. So again, happy flag day to all the comrades out there. Garveyites, keep doing what we're doing. Let's lead the way, show the example so the world can follow. You understand? That's what it is. But again, getting back to today, man, self-esteem and, and, and projections. I want to just say this. Get this if you don't have it, and not just get it, but actually go through it. Actually learn the lessons, actually study the lessons, actually apply the lessons. Again, you always talk about solutions. This is one of the greatest visionaries and one of the greatest weapons ever brought to us. You understand? All we got to do is apply the thing, and we can make things happen. Don't be afraid to step out of somebody else's projections and live your life, project your life, project ourselves as a people into the atmosphere of the world, into the universe, you know what I'm saying? Don't be afraid to project ourselves because at the end of the day, when we project ourselves in the right way, in the right manner, in the right light, right? Help you mighty race comes to what you will, you know what the big homie told us. When we walk in that type of manner or whatever, right? The world reacts totally different. The world reacts totally different because it's like you setting you setting back in play, if you will, universal balance. Black people, let's be real, we are that universal balance of the world when we are in proper cognition as well as proper steps. It all there's different levels. You already know I talked about that. It's different levels. But with that being said, I don't want to get too deep into it, but before I get into it, let me briefly touch on media real quick. Because media is one of the biggest things to project an image, project a reputation, if you will, project a stereotype, and these then become the the uh, uh, um, the controlled choices, if you will, presented on the table before us, and these are the only choices that we have, the only options that, that we have. Again, all these different options and choices are not of our own. So, of course, time and time again on the TV, on the radio, the magazines, the newspapers, you're going to see and hear different things that not necessarily naturally are of us. These are different projections and feelings and inner demons that other people have of us that are afraid of us that have to put this out in a certain way so they can respond according to the way that they see fit. And you, of course, you already know the way that they see fit has never been to our benefit, family. Ever, 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 ever. So with that being said, it's time to flip the script. Dr. Amerson Wilson, you up next. Family, I want you to take the opportunity, sit back, get comfortable, listen to what the brother has to say. Listen to what the doctor has to say, family. And then, at the end of the day, not only listen to what he says, but when you go outside, open your eyes. Again, not just these two, because these two will confuse the shit out of you. Take it a step further. Open your eyes. Open your ears. Not just these two. It's good to hear, but these two also will confuse you. Go to the ears that are inside of these, because the ones that are inside are directly connected to your brain, family. 
analyze it, internalize it, embrace it, study it. Then when you get the right answer according to the way that you walk, the way that you live, only that you know how, you respond accordingly. So again, fam, sit back, get comfortable, man. This is R M R B G T V. This is your brother and Google Nice, you R A M. Always, once again, family, remember that black love is a cure for the black nation. So let's get it. Dr. M. Emerson Wilson, man, your turn. Speak to the family. Holler at us. In the meantime, between time, keep it locked, keep it G. This is R M R B G T V. What you think, you speak, you speak, you walk, what you walk, you pass on. Always remember that, family. So it starts with you. So let's move.